With Neptune raising worries among researchers and space fans, famous specialists including Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have sounded cautions about the possible outcomes of this heavenly conflict. Yet how did Pluto end up on an impact course with its far-off neighbor? And what could this infinite crash mean for us here on the planet? How about we investigate this unfurling event? Once thought to be an undeniable planet, Pluto was subsequently renamed as a dwarf planet because of its unique orbit. In spite of this transformation, it continues to enthrall and attract stargazers. Ongoing forecasts from unmistakable researchers highlight a stressing vicinity between Pluto's path and that of Neptune. These specialists warn against a potential crash between the two planets, representing a critical danger to Earth. Pluto's journey around the Sun is marked by its unmatched attributes within our planetary system. Its orbit spans a broad 248 years, and since its discovery in 1930, Pluto still hasn't completed a full revolution. Adding to its interest is the profoundly curved shape of its orbit, a departure from the almost round orbits of the major planets. Additionally, Pluto's orbit is inclined at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane, making its path more extreme compared to other planets. One notable aspect of Pluto's orbit is its crossing point with Neptune's path. For roughly 20 years in each orbit, Pluto ventures closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying assumptions based on their respective positions in the solar system. So why hasn't an impact occurred between Pluto and Neptune? The explanation lies in the gravitational impacts applied by different planets. The assessment of Pluto's orbit began soon after its discovery, presenting a perplexing direction for astronomers. Unlike most of the planets, whose orbits align somewhat close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's distinctive features include a lofty inclination and an elliptical shape. The mystery deepens with the realization that Pluto's orbit crosses that of Neptune. The stability of Pluto's orbit amidst these complexities serves as evidence of the intricacies inherent in space mechanics. The three-body problem in space involves understanding the movement and gravitational interactions among three celestial bodies, such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun. This issue clarifies the complicated exchange of their paths and gravitational forces. Terms like asynchronous libration, scope libration, and the VZK oscillation contribute to unraveling this celestial riddle. Astrophysicists affirm that asynchronous libration, responsible for keeping planets in their orbits, plays a fundamental role in the context of Pluto and Neptune. This term indicates that when Pluto intersects Neptune's orbit, it is situated at least 90 degrees away from Neptune, crucial for stalling potential crashes. Scope libration ensures that when Pluto approaches Neptune or other giant planets, it is arranged above their orbital plane, providing an additional layer of protection against collisions. The VZK oscillation explains why Pluto's orbit around the Sun appears erratic yet remains stable over time. Despite apparent irregularities, Mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that Pluto's orbit, while stable, is actually chaotic, with minor initial deviations leading to massive changes over millions of years. However, Pluto's unique orbit maintains stability over extraordinarily long timescales, keeping chaos in check. Recent computer tests have improved our understanding of how massive planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's path around the Sun-Neptune's unique relationship with Pluto, completing three orbits for every two of Pluto's, contributes to the security of Pluto's orbit. Additionally, Jupiter's immense gravity has a significant impact, while Saturn's influence, though more modest, also plays a role. Through thorough studies, researchers have shown that the combined effects of Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn ensure the safe and stable movement of Pluto in space for billions of years. These phenomena are fundamental for maintaining the order and consistency of celestial movements in the universe. Without these components, the solar system would be prone to greater chaos and eccentricity, potentially leading to crashes or ejections from stable paths and causing gradually expanding influences on other celestial bodies. Understanding Pluto's orbit is especially essential in discussions about a potential impact with Neptune in the future. This information provides a clearer comprehension of the unique nature of the nearby planetary group. Pluto's case highlights how seemingly unstable orbits can achieve harmony through the complex interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. 
constant observation and investigation of these phenomena are crucial for gaining a better handle on our position in the universe. Exploring the depths of space frequently reveals the eccentric nature of celestial bodies. Furthermore, Pluto's orbit serves as a prime illustration of this unconventionality. The concept of orbital chaos distinctly shows the delicate reliance of a celestial body's path on its initial conditions, as demonstrated in Pluto's case. Even slight variations in a planet's position or speed can significantly alter its long-term orbit. Programmatic simulations have been instrumental in aiding researchers to understand how Pluto moves in space. By making small adjustments in these simulations, astronomers can see how minor changes can have a significant influence on Pluto's trajectory. In the late 1980s, these simulations uncovered an intriguing aspect of Pluto's path. Despite features like asynchronous libration and scope libration contributing to its stability, Pluto's orbit can still display eccentricities. Even a slight initial difference in Pluto's position or speed can lead to massive changes in its path over many years. In spite of this inherent chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable for an exceptionally long period, extending over billions of years. This suggests that beneath its apparently sporadic appearance, Pluto's journey around the Sun follows an organized order, anticipating grandiose events. Particularly with planets like Pluto that have unusual orbits, the intrinsic irregularity of these systems makes long-term predictions uncertain. Mathematical simulations help us understand and anticipate the future paths of celestial bodies, but they also reveal the limits of our predictions. These models heavily rely on accurate initial conditions and replicate complex interactions. Even a small error can lead to vastly different outcomes, making precise forecasts difficult. The chaotic nature of celestial orbits, such as Pluto's, reminds us of the ever-changing universe. While we've made progress in understanding space, Pluto's case highlights our ongoing limited knowledge. The vastness of interstellar distances and the scarcity of planets in open space act as impediments against frequent impacts. Furthermore, rogue planets are relatively rare compared to the number of stars and planets in stable orbits, making such encounters much more unrealistic. Understanding the gravitational impacts of giant planets on Pluto's orbit provides valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the nearby planetary group. It illustrates how each planet's presence and position can influence the stability and trajectory of other bodies in the system. In spite of these complicated forces, significant astrophysicists are expressing concerns about a potential impact between Pluto and Neptune. This raises questions about why such an impact which seems unlikely given these complex elements, is currently a subject of concern. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a notable astrophysicist, offers an extraordinary perspective on the mysteries of our solar system, especially regarding Pluto. Tyson, popular for renaming Pluto as a dwarf planet rather than a true planet, shares insightful thoughts on how our understanding of celestial mechanics is continuously evolving. Tyson sees Pluto's renaming not as a downgrade, but rather as a fundamental acknowledgement of our expanding knowledge about the various objects orbiting the Sun. His approach to celestial mechanics includes constant learning and transformation. He views the intricacies of orbits like Pluto's as a sign of how much more there is to discover in space. Tyson believes that the allure of these questions is what makes stargazing so captivating. Moreover, Tyson understands how space-related events and discoveries influence public interest in space science. He believes that occurrences like Pluto's renaming and its surprising orbit are opportunities to capture the public's imagination and interest in the universe. By discussing the dynamic and sometimes strange aspects of celestial mechanics, Tyson aims to cultivate a deeper understanding and appreciation of the universe. Neil deGrasse Tyson opens a window for the general public to wonder at the marvels and mysteries of the universe. Working alongside other researchers, Tyson actively warns the public about the possible risks of Pluto's erratic orbit. After extensive investigation of Pluto, he has raised concerns that the three-body problem could pose a genuine threat, suggesting that a collision with Neptune is extremely overdue. Furthermore, Tyson emphasizes how such a collision could disrupt the balance of the universe and lead to catastrophic outcomes extending to Earth. An impact between Pluto and Neptune would be a bizarre and catastrophic event in our nearby planetary group. This collision could unleash a colossal amount of energy, 
potentially shattering Pluto due to its smaller size and icy composition. Debris from the impact could disperse across the planetary system, presenting potential dangers for other planets and their moons. For Neptune, such a collision could potentially alter its atmosphere and orbit, depending on the specific details of the crash. Michio Kaku, a notable theoretical physicist recognized for his work in string theory and science communication, offers an interesting perspective on this situation. His insights into the future of space exploration and the connection between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics provide profound insights into phenomena like Pluto's orbit. Kaku views the study of Pluto and its orbit as a glimpse into the future of space exploration. Understanding the complex gravitational interactions and orbital elements of celestial bodies like Pluto can offer critical insights for future space missions. This knowledge can aid in navigating the planetary system more effectively, anticipating potential dangers, and planning missions to the outer reaches of our solar system and beyond. Kaku emphasizes that the lessons learned from studying Pluto's orbit can be applied to explore other celestial bodies, providing a framework for approaching and understanding distant worlds. In examining the physics of planets, Kaku often highlights the deep connection between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics. He believes that the movements and interactions of planets, like the gravitational dance between Pluto and Neptune, are not isolated events but are linked to fundamental principles of physics. Kaku's work in theoretical physics, particularly in string theory, aims to comprehend these principles at the most basic level. He proposes that studying the intricacies of celestial mechanics, such as Pluto's orbit, can yield insights into the fundamental laws of the universe. Like Tyson, Kaku has also addressed the potential impact, relating it to his theories about the universe. If Pluto and Neptune were to collide, it would be a significant event in astronomy, providing a remarkable observational opportunity that could enhance our understanding of string theory. String theory, a theoretical framework that replaces point-like particles with one-dimensional strings, seeks to describe the fundamental forces and matter in the universe. A collision of such magnitude in the nearby planetary system could create extreme states of energy and gravity, offering insights into the behavior of fundamental particles and forces under extreme conditions. A key focus in string theory, moreover, the gravitational waves generated by the collision could provide valuable information for testing predictions of string theory related to gravity and space-time. While the immediate impact on Earth would be negligible due to our distance from the outer nearby planetary group, the scientific implications of such an event could be significant, potentially contributing to our understanding of the fundamental nature of the universe as described by string theory and other areas of theoretical physics. Pluto's orbit serves as a striking illustration of celestial mechanics, displaying both stability and chaos within our nearby planetary system. The exceptional qualities of its orbit, affected by the gravitational forces of neighboring planets, especially Neptune, highlight the complicated and dynamic nature of space. The universe holds many secrets, and the three-body problem is just one of them. There are other potential catastrophes that researchers expect. While the chances of planets colliding in space are very low, it is not entirely inconceivable. The way planetary orbits are influenced by various factors, including gravitational interactions, is explained by the three-body problem. In some space systems, like TRAPPIST-1, which contains seven Earth-sized planets, gravitational forces create a rhythmic pattern brought about by orbital resonances. Over time, these patterns can make planetary paths less stable potentially leading to collisions. Despite the crowded nature of systems like TRAPPIST-1, impacts are not currently happening. Researchers closely monitor these systems to understand how planets affect each other's orbits, especially when they are in close proximity. This information helps us appreciate the dynamics of planets in space. Rogue planets, drifting through space without orbiting a star, introduce an additional unpredictable element. These planets, once part of a star system, are expelled due to gravitational disturbances or other cosmic events, such as the close passage of another star or dynamic instability in other systems. Over the long haul, these wandering planets can traverse immense distances, potentially reaching regions far from their original locations. During their solitary journey, there is a chance of encountering other star systems. If one of these rogue planets enters another nearby planetary system, 
there is a slight possibility of a collision with a planet in that system. However, given the vast and predominantly empty nature of space, the probability of a rogue planet directly impacting another planet is extremely low.